My name is Mark Strawn, and you are most welcome to this event. On the 17th of November, we feature a concert with Helen Charleston, a mezzo-soprano well known to us, and she has sung for us in many, many, many courses, including Messiah, Elijah, and of course, How Do You Keep the Music Playing? On the 14th of December, we have a jazz concert with Joanna and Alexandra Lestrange, who will do their jazz event, and again, they will sing How Do You Keep the Music Playing? Now, we are live from Westminster School in London with our great friends Ashley Riches and Richard Gowers. Richard has played the piano and the organ for many of the courses for Choir of the Earth, and he has played Elijah, Mozart Requiem, and many, many others, and we are most grateful to you, Richard, for all you have done for us. Welcome tonight. Ashley is one of the world's leading bass baritones, and I first met Ashley when he sang Messiah for us, and I tentatively asked him whether he would also do Elijah, and I'm delighted to say that he said yes. Ashley's Elijah is one of the high points of the 18 months that we've been together in Choir of the Earth. So without further ado, here is Ashley Riches, accompanied on the piano by Richard Gowers, and let the concert of the earth begin. Il 
to so many of you uh, all around the world is really a great thrill and a great honour. Our concert uh, tonight seems to take in something like the whole world of music. Uh, we have highlights all the way through uh, from oratorio uh, and from the world of song and here of course we begin in the world of opera with the entrance of the Toreador in Bizet's great opera, Carmen. We now move uh, from France uh, to, to Austria, uh, to Mozart, or rather maybe I should say to Seville, where Don Giovanni is standing under the window of some unknown lady serenading her. And then in that same city, uh, we move across to where Figaro is sending uh, the poor page boy Carabino off to war. <laughs> Girando, belle pelle, turbando il riposo, ar 
ci sei quando ci vuoi d'amore delle belle tornando il riposo ci sei quando ci vuoi d'amore non più avrai questi bei pennacchini quel capello leggero e galante quella chioma quell'aria brillante Quel vermiglio d'oresco colore, quel vermiglio d'oresco colore, non ti avrai quei pennacchini, quel cappello, quella fiora, quell'aria brillante, non ti avrai far parole amoroso, notte giorno di giorno girando, delle belle tornando e riposo. Ci sei qua don Gino d'amor, delle belle tornando il riposo, arci sei qua don Gino d'amor, tre guerrieri fa far bacco, grano stacchi stretto sciacco, schiotto in spalla, ciava il fianco, volo dritto, uso franco, Gran casco, un gran turbante, molto nuovo, poco contante, poco contante, poco contante. Ed invece del fandango, una marcia per il fango, per montagne e per palloni. Concerti di turromboni, i bombardi di cannone, con le palle in tutti i tuoni, all'orecchio tanti schiar. Non ti avrai quei pennacchini, non ti avrai quel cappello, non ti avrai quella fiora, non ti avrai quell'aria brillante. Andrai far parole amoroso, notte e giorno di giorno girando, delle belle tornando il riposo, arci se tu ad un cino d'amor, delle belle tornando il riposo, arci se tu ad un cino d'amor. Ero fino alla vittoria, alla gloria militare. Gurgle he gave, and 
Then he plunged himself into the billowy wave, and an echo arose from the suicide's grave. Oh, willow, tit willow, tit willow. Now I feel just as sure as I'm sure that my name isn't Willow, Tit Willow, Tit Willow. That was blighted affection that made him exclaim, Oh, Willow, Tit Willow, Tit Willow. But if you remain callous and obdurate, I shall perish as he did. And you will know why. Though I probably shall not exclaim as I die. Oh, will, tit will, tit will. Fifteen hundred of us from all over the world were learning Elijah with Ben England, BEM, that wonderful teacher for us all. I was lucky enough and fortunate enough to be at the Holy Trinity Church in Sloan Square, where I heard Richard and Ashley record that wonderful part for us. So when this concert was formed, I said to Ashley and Richard, please could you put into the performance some numbers from that great oratorio, Elijah. So, ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honour and privilege to present a few excerpts from Elijah with Ashley and Richard. To all these people. 
We're going to finish uh, the first half uh, by uh, something that's going to look forward a little bit uh, to Christmas, I hope, which is you know, only round the corner and which in these years uh, can't come soon enough for a little bit of jollity. So we move to the most famous oratorio of them all, I guess, uh, Handel's Messiah and the wonderful conclusion for the bass, The Trumpet Shall Sound.
Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I hope the interval drinks were refreshing and that you're ready for the next half of our concert tonight. So without further ado, over to Ashley and Richard. Welcome back to our recital. Uh, that was Anne Sylvia by Schubert, a setting in German of Shakespeare's wonderful poem, Who is Sylvia? And I have to say, that's a particularly special song to me because my own daughter, who is three, uh, is also Sylvia, um, named after, I suppose, the Sylvia of Shakespeare. And it's something that her, that her great-grandmother, who is uh, the song by Schubert is... Uh, something that her great-grandmother, who is still with us, um, remembers singing at school. So it, it's a song that has a wonderful uh, resonance for my family, and it's a great thing to be able to share it with you tonight. Uh, we're going to stay with some of the highlights of the German song repertoire. We're going to have Brahms and Eine Eilsharfe, um, a, a, a song about uh, hearing wind chimes uh, at night. Uh, and then Wolf's The Rat Catcher, a wonderful rambunctious setting of the story of the Pied Piper of Hamelin. Uh, but first, we go to one of the most famous love songs by Schumann, and it is Widmung. Oh, du mein Grab, in du 
Ich 
Germany and to France, um, uh, to the great French master Gabriel Fauré, best known, of course, these days for his wonderful, wonderful requiem, which all of us sing uh, as often as we can, but also a really amazing master of the classical song. Uh, we have uh, Après un rêve, uh, After a dream, uh, one of his uh, most well-known tunes. And first, a little song about a butterfly and a flower, the, bu the, the flower who yearns after the beautiful butterfly and longs to be with him. And it is a song that Faure himself wrote at the tender age of 16. <laughs> Tu vas 
The next song is by the lesser known composer of the same period, Guy Ocopart, and it's a very, it's a very beautiful song um, about those who have not been buried in the churchyard, uh, but who, who, who have been given unknown graves beside the crossroads, and they are unmarked except for the blue flower that grows upon them, and it's a flower that has no name. And then the song after that, I'm sure, will be known to you in another form, uh, a, very fa a very famous form, the Danse Macabre, uh, which is a fantastic piece for violin and orchestra. But before it was a fantastic piece for violin and orchestra, it was a fantastic song um, and rather good fun. I hope you enjoy Parle 
Dans sa trappe en une tombe avec son talent, la mort à minuit jouait l'heure de danse, ses équipes et ses actes sur son violon. Le vent d'hiver souffle et la nuit est sombre, les gémissements sortent d'un tilleul, les squelettes blancs vont à travers l'ombre, courant et sautant sous le grand lacet. Chacun se trie mousson, tant bien que les ont des dossards. Un boule à l'essif s'assure sous la mousse, comme on peut goûter d'anciennes loussards. Zik et zik et zik, la mort continue de racler son fin, son écrasement. Un bruit est tombé, la danse est nue, son dos à la serre, amoureusement. Et le verre galant d'un pauvre charron en fleurs, et voilà qu'elle s'abandonne comme si le riche était un baron. Si qui dit que si que qu'elle s'en rebonde, qu'il se glisse dans mon se donne la main, si qui dit que ça tombe dans la fonte de vrai compagnie auprès du vilain. Se pousse en pire, le coq a chanté. Oh, la belle nuit, oh, la pauvre monde, et vive l'amour et l'égalité. Wow. Well, everybody, before we enter our final segment, I would just like to say what a world tour we've had 
from France to Germany, and I think we're going to end up in North America. But I'd just like to take this opportunity on your behalf to thank Ashley and Richard for a wonderful, wonderful evening. It's been a real privilege listening to you both, and I know that in a few minutes after the next sec section, they will come here and sit with me and we will have a little conversation. So over to Ashley and Richard for the last section of a true concert of the earth. Candidates are dodgy, yes, a well known dodgy, yes, the candidates are dodgy, yes, and I'm a dodger too. He'll meet you and treat you and ask you for your vote, but look out, boys, he's a dodging for a note, yes, we're all dodging, a dodging, 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 yes, we're all dodging all the way through the world. The preacher, he's a dodgy, yes, a well known dodgy, yes, the preacher, he's a dodgy, yes, and I'm a dodger too. He'll preach you a gospel and tell you of your crimes. But look out, boys, he's a dodging for your dimes, yes, we're all dodging, a dodging, 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 yes, we're all dodging all the way through. The world. Yes, the lover he 
he's a dodgy, yes, a well-known dodgy, yes, the lover, he's a dodgy, yes, and I'm a dodgy too. He'll hug you and kiss you and call you his bride. But look out, girl, he's a telling you a lie, yes, we're all dodging. Dodging, 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 yes, we're all dodging all the way through the world. Cat, my cat please me, I'm bed my cat under yonder tree. My cat says fiddle I feed. I bought me a duck, my duck please me, I fed my duck under yonder tree. My duck says quack, quack. My cat says fiddle I feed. I bought me a goose, my goose please me, I fed my goose under yonder tree. My goose says quack, quack. My duck says, My cat says, Fiddle I feed. I bought me a hen. My hen please me. I fed my hen on the yonder tree. My hen says, Shimmy shack, shimmy shack. My goose says, Oh, oh. My duck says, My cat says, Fiddle I feed. I bought me a pig. My pig please me. I fed my pig on the yonder tree. My pig says, the hen says, shimmy shack, shimmy shack. My goose says, oh, oh. My duck says, oink, oink. 
My dad says, fiddle I be. I bought me a cow, my cow please me. I fed my cow under yon the tree. My cow says, moo, moo. My pig says, hiss, hiss. My hen says, shimmy shack, shimmy shack. My goose says, haw, haw. My duck says, quack, quack. My cat says, fiddle I be. I bought me a horse, my horse please me. I fed my horse under yon the tree. My horse says, no, no. And my cow says, moo. My pig says, <laughs> my hen says, shimmy shack, shimmy shack. My goose says, oh, oh. My duck says, quack, quack. My cat says, fiddle I be. I bought me a wife. My wife pleased me. I fed my wife on the yonder tree. My wife says, honey, honey. My horse says, no, no. And my cow says, no. My pig says, my hen says, shimmy shack, shimmy shack. My goose says, haw, haw. My duck says, wah, wah. My cat says, fiddle I see. Wonderful. Wonderful, gentlemen. Please come and join me as we have a little discussion about that excellent performance. Now, before, let's let Ashley just draw his breath. Ashley. Yes, that thank you very much Wonderful, for that. very kind. thank you very much, Richard. Wonderful, well played, thank you so much. In fact, let me just shake you by the hand. Goodness me, we can do we this can do now. That. I mean, yes, how, how, how very strange, it's a novel that. experience <laughs> in itself. <laughs> well, that was just lovely. Thank you both very, very much. No, not at all, great pleasure. Oh, well, what a tremendous evening now, Richard. It's not been the easiest few months, maybe, may I say, year for all of us. So tell me what you've been up to. Yeah, I mean, musicians, we are kind of at the, in a large number of different cohorts of people yeah. who've had a difficult year and a half. Mm -hmm. And um, for many musicians, the answer has been not very much, True. how much we've done. But I've been very fortunate to have been um, having Got opportunities really good to... Crossword. Yes. Yep. Yeah, really good, yeah. really good. So something achieved. I learned how to brew beer, except all the beer I made was disgusting, so I've had to throw <laughs> right. it away. So but you know, that's still a pretty good skill. It's a good claim. It is. Don't put yeah. too much sugar in it because it explodes. That was why it exploded. Right. Yeah. Well, you, you're a home, home brewer yourself, <laughs> my, Mark. My, uh, actually, my father, when he brewed beer at home, he put too much sugar right. in one day. And then over dinner, there was a huge explosion as four or five bottles just shattered. Right. Anyway, enough of the beer. Let's get back to, to the music. So you've been busy doing lots of things? I have now, yes. Um, since the summer, a lot of work seems to have come back. I mean, in, in the summer months, there were quite a lot of ambitious outdoor plans. I got involved with an opera that happened outdoors in uh, Oxfordshire. And then, as of the autumn, I've got this impression that a lot of um, concerts have come back through a kind of backlog mm. and been stuffed into these um, few months for people who are maybe a little bit paranoid about having another set of restrictions in the winter. So it's a madly busy time, actually. Good. Well, um, can I just say thank you for all you've done for us? I mean, you've been amazing, the organ and the piano that you've done for all of our concerts and working with Ashley on Elijah. Thank you. It's been marvellous. Yeah, I can't believe that was a year ago. Now. No, I know. Yeah. I know. It's extraordinary. It's, uh, well, who'd have thought we'd be collaborating all of these years later? Yes. So, Ashley, <laughs> are you finding it's getting busier for you? Uh, I mean, it's certainly a lot busier than it was. Yes. I'm delighted. To, I mean, no, it, 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 it's, been, it's been quite strange because I... So, my last cancellation was... I was meant to be three months in the States this summer. Ah. And that, you know... Well, we weren't allowed to travel. Well, I mean, you, if you're, if you're, if you're, you know, an important enough sports person, then you can go. <laughs> but, you know, if you're a lowly singer, then mm. no chance. Um, so it's it kind of went from absolutely nothing over the summer to what was my kind of normal diary back in September. So that's actually been a bit of a shock to the system. You know, complete not not. I, w I wouldn't like to say to anybody that I'm completely out of practice, but I certainly don't not feel, tonight. I certainly don't not. feel, you know, I, I don't yet feel kind of match fit in the way that, that I would love to. And I mean, that just, just, just shows how, how, you know, how uh, habitual your, your use needs, but needs it's to be. But it's I mean, obviously, and if we're good at anything, practice makes perfect. I mean, do you need to vocalise every day for a long time uh, every day? I mean, I don't 
I, I, I can get away without doing it, but I mean, if I'm going to be anything like my best, then yes, absolutely. And that, that's something that I've, I've come to, to realise and appreciate more as I've So you obviously live older. in the country, because if you lived in the town, then all your neighbours would sell up and leave. Well, I don't know, but I mean, maybe they just don't have any choice. <laughs> um, uh, you know, poor things. Uh, maybe we've got a particularly well-insulated basement. I can only assume that that's it. Um, I know, no, neighbours are very good. There aren't, aren't too many letters of complaint written to the council. Um, I'd like to say and the, the one good thing I suppose about being a singer is that well you've got a lot of time in the middle of the day when generally speaking people are at work so maybe that's how you avoid annoying people too much I can see that but, but you know you have just sung most beautifully and loudly for an hour for us and while we're talking now I don't get the impression that you're that hoarse I mean no, your, voice, right. your, your voice it, 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 do you find that at the end of a performance you do need to calm down a bit or can you get back to your normal speaking voice well, very quickly? Well, it depends what it is. Um, you know, the, the, I suppose that, if it's a big it's got, oratorio. It's got a lot of, that, that's a question with a lot of answers. I mean, it's less, less that than you might think, actually. Mm. Um, you know, if I, so I did, I, I did um, uh, a, big, a big piece by Tippett um, about three weeks ago called Midsummer Marriage um, at the uh, Festival Hall with the LPO, and it's a huge thing, much the biggest thing that I've, that, I, that I've had, and I was totally fine at the end because it's music which keeps your voice in the right place. Sure, I mean, actually, sure. like Elijah, I mean, you're not yeah. particularly tired by the Although end of Elijah. Although it is enough, has got that middle bit that's quite difficult, quite, quite challenging. Yeah, but I mean, if you're, if you're <clears throat> you, you know, you, you, need, you need to use it to keep your voice in the right place. Sure. I mean, where, where you go wrong and where you, you, know, you haven't got anything by the end is if you are doing something that, that requires you to change the way you sing quite a lot. Yes. Yes. Um, that shifts you out of a kind of good vocal place. Sure. So actually a song recital is a particularly good place to, yes. to, to, to get like that because songs by their nature tend to be pretty different from one another. So that encourages you to kind of get, yeah, out, of, get out of the groove. Um, so I, and, and it's definitely been one of my discoveries that, that, that one, of the, one of the tricks is to make sure you stay in the groove for the whole time that you're singing. So me putting, me putting Elijah into the mitts was a bit of a difficult one tonight. Well, no, I mean, it was, it was fine because, well, as you, you know, Mark, Mark and I had terrible toing and froing about the order. Um, and one of, one of the reasons is that, you know, that's, that's what allows the vocal place to remain kind yes. of constant. And you can sort of go from, you can go from, um, you know, light to heavy or heavy to heavy well heavy to light is a little bit harder but but what you don't really want to be doing is chopping and changing all the time chopping and changing the way the voice works all the time because you want to just kind of keep on a, a smooth running next time next, next time you can try time. harder now tell me about the solo album well how did that go is it is it are you are you pleased with the yeah the I'm, I'm i'm absolutely i'm absolutely delighted with it it was it's been a it, it's been a, a wonderful project i think that you, you might have, Richard might have even have been present in the audience at its first outing, you know, was when that it the was. First? I, th I think yeah. so. Musical zoo. Uh, yeah, a musical yeah. zoo. Um, so, which is, which is a, a sort of a, a menagerie of, sure. of different animal songs, because I thought, well, you know, that'll be a nice way to. Did you have the cat in it? Um, actually, no. No. Actually, no, which is, you know. We've got lots of cat lovers in the choir. So lots of cat lovers, lovers. and I, I, am, I am a gigantic cat lover myself. Oh, and right. even though that song didn't feature, actually in the album booklet, there are lots and lots of pictures of my cat, oh. um, who is very, very dear to my heart. Leonora, this is for you. Um, uh, and it was, it was her fifth birthday um, on Happy Sunday. Happy birthday, it's, it's Leonora. A, it's a great oh. mystery to me how well, she survived. She's very incapable. We're talking about but she's birthdays. Wonderful. Yes. I think it was your birthday not so long ago. It was my birthday not so long and ago. I'm not going to tell you how old I was because no. then I'll feel ancient. And so I just have a little present for you. Oh, Yes, wow. it's been wow. long overdue. Here is your Elijah. Thank you so much. This is, this is an absolute and thrill. Richard, is it your birthday soon? Um, a couple of months, yeah. Oh, good. It's well, my sister's Richard, birthday today. So. Sister's birthday. Happy yeah. birthday, sister. Thank you. Here's your Elijah. Here's your Mozart Requiem. Here's your Christmas at home. And all the yeah, other ones no, to you, come. You, 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 you've, you've won, haven't you? You know, you you've got have any pictures of your cat. Right, no. Well, you, next time. Next time. And Richard, tell me, tomorrow, is it tomorrow you've got something exciting at Hampton Court? Tell us about that. Or the shortly even song? Yes, it's a BBC broadcast of Evensong with um, Toby Ward's choir ensemble Pro Victoria. We did the Pet Passion 
Oh yes, um, the pa Passion. Wow. Yeah, together back in May, and um, they're singing a sort of reconstructed Tudor Vespers, and I'm filling it in with a couple of little organ pieces just in case they don't reach the full hour. But that's at <laughs> four o'clock tomorrow. And what's the Hampton so. Court organ like? Um, I don't think I'm playing it. I think they're hiring an instrument in. Right. And to be perfectly honest, I don't know yet. Now, you have told me this morning that you've actually got a new iPad with a Bluetooth page turner, which you've used. Is it the first time you've used it tonight? Yes. How did it work? It was fine. I mean, <laughs> I thought it'd be good to take an enormous risk with today's concert. Well, uh, and um, You didn't like, say, Ashley, stop, I've got the wrong page. Can we start that one over again? No, we just kept going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when that did happen, yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, you covered up very times, well. Well done. Yeah. Oh, no, not at all. Uh, so now, um, what's new, Ashley, for 2022 for you? What's new for 2022? Um, I have... Uh, I really can't think that far ahead. Uh, right. This week... This week? <laughs> um, this week, I've, I'm, I'm at the Oxford Leader Festival on Friday okay. lunchtime yes. with a, a wonderful programme of Baudelaire songs, Du Parc and Foray and um, uh, a couple of commissions, which should be very interesting. And then Friday evening um, at the Wigmore Hall with the English concert. Wow. Wigmore Hall, um, well done. Doing Handel and Purcell, um, which should be wonderful. And then in Holland next week, and couldn't tell you after that. Well, I have one or two questions from the audience, Ashley. Um, um, let me just quickly ask you. Um, somebody who was at the same school as you would oh, be right. very interested to learn more about your experience of singing at school and whether or how that shaped your musical development. Oh, I'm sure it did. Um, I have to say I, yes. I mean, well, I have to say yes. No, 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 no. I mean, absolutely it did. I mean, how could it not? Um, so I came to school playing, I played the flute and the piano. And because I was a music scholar, I was strong armed into the choir. And that's, Very good that's how it started. Very good I had to do it. Um, and then I had the, uh, the most magnificent singing teacher, uh, a, 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 a man called Julian Smith, who is sadly no longer right. with us, but you know, right. was a great, great inspiration to, to, to mm. many singers, taught James Gilchrist among you know, oh, actually yes. quite a number of others. Um, and he um, sort of, he, he gave me a real love for for song um, and the ability to sort of, you know, as, a, as an idiot 17 year old to come and, you know, sing huge song cycles by Brahms in evening concerts, which was something well, that, that, our, that our school helped us to do. And that was, that was a wonderful thing. Uh, so that was, a, that was a big part of my musical education, though I would actually say that, you know, the, the, the most formative part of my education was with, was with Richard. Uh, which is to say, Over the last couple of days. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. Everything. The last half an hour. <laughs> yeah, um, which was 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 at King's Cambridge uh, with yeah. Stephen Cleary, um, and that I think um, you know f formed a real kind of uh, bedrock, both of both of kind of musical musical taste and knowledge, but also um, seeing you know what professionalism looks like in. And musician. you lived it, and you breathed it. Every absolutely. single day, absolutely. Every single you know, day, even yeah. you know, even when even when you didn't really want to, as yes. so, you know, as, when you're a student mm. is inevitably the case. And goodness me, you learn a lot from that experience. And that 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 you know, so school and then and then university, they were they were two big shaping. Things. Which leads neatly onto the next question, which is, when did you decide that being a singer was the career for you? I never decided that being a singer was the career for me. Um, so I was going to go and be a lawyer and I had my training contract and, you know, that was it and that was fine. Um, and then my singing teacher said, well, before you go and get a proper job, just have a year of enjoyment at music college um, and then, you know, go and, go and live your life. Um, and, and I did and it sort of went quite well. So I thought, well, if I get onto the next course straight away, then I'll stick around for another year. Um, and then, you know, 12 years later or whatever, I'm still, you know, sticking around. I, I imagine that if I, if I write to my law firm again, they probably won't be so interested in my CV. But, um, I don't you think know. you'll be writing that letter very well. Well, I don't know. I mean, you know, the, the I, last, the last 18 it. months have, have made us all, you know, reconsider our choices. Yes, I, I, I'm, I, but I'm sure that life will begin to return yeah, to normal. Oh, yeah, and, I, 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 I and, think so. And evening <sighs> and like tonight is actually quite interesting because we have no audience other than the people at home. Mm. 
Um, and I am passionate about music being made more widely available to everybody. Yeah. And the great thing about technology is that we can do that. Yeah, 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 yeah and, absolutely. And, and, and whilst we are alone in this room, we know that there are hundreds of people around the world listening to us at this very moment. What's all that? Sorry? Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and how great is that? Yeah, absolutely. That, that, that technology allows us to spread this music worldwide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you very much for oh, no, no, you know, making no, it all possible. It's thank you to the people that have allowed this all to happen, yeah. and long may it continue. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, guys, it's been fantastic. So thank you both very much indeed. I hope Huge that we pleasure. might be able to repeat this one day. Um, but I all the so. very best of luck to you both. Thank you very much. Thank you, Richard. Thank Thanks you, much. Ashley. Well, everybody, what a great evening. I hope you've enjoyed it uh, for our first Concert of the Earth. Do join us shortly uh, in November when we have Helen Charleston, the mezzo-soprano, who will entertain us. And then on the 14th of December, we have a more jazz evening with Joanna Forbes Lestrange and Alexander Lestrange. So do join us then. In the meantime, I wish you, from Westminster School in London, a very good night.